Yo guys, Tion here. Welcome back to another video. Before the iPad Mini 5 is launched next month in March, I want to gather everything we know so far about the rumored tablet. Now, I couldn't find anything else to review. There were hardly any tech news stories to talk about. So with all that said, let's get into the video. Let's talk about biometrics. The iPad Mini 5 will not have Face ID since it's supposed to be a low-cost device. The only biometric that this device will have is Touch ID, possibly Touch ID second generation since the latest iPad Pros with the home button still have Touch ID second generation. It's faster to unlock. It's a lot faster than first generation Touch ID. And during my usage, you are able to unlock it even when your fingers are wet or oily or greasy. Another rumor that we're getting about the device is that we're going to be getting upgraded cameras. The current iPad mini 4 has an 8 megapixel camera, so the iPad mini 5 will probably have a 12 megapixel camera and if not, maybe a 10 megapixel camera again to keep price down or Apple might just leave it at 8 megapixels. Let's talk about the cellular models of the iPad mini 5. It will have the same cellular bands that the current 9.7 inch 5th and 6th generation iPads have. In order to keep price down, it's not going to get the same cell bands like the iPad Pros or the new iPhone because that would drive the price up. Apple might update the cellular bands, but I don't see them doing anything drastic with the iPad mini 5 when we're talking about cellular connectivity. Let's talk about Bluetooth. The iPad mini 4 has Bluetooth 4.2. The iPad Pros have Bluetooth 5.0 as well as the iPhone XR, the iPhone XS and XS Max. So I wouldn't be surprised if Apple included Bluetooth 5.0 on the iPad mini 5. I don't think it will drive price up that high. The next thing that I'd like to talk about is Apple Pencil and Smart Keyboard support. We did get a rumor saying that Apple will be bringing the Smart Keyboard accessory to the iPad mini 5. I don't know if they're going to be bringing this in the form of first generation or second generation but it would be nice if they did bring this although it can be a little bit cumbersome to use an ipad mini 5 with a very small keyboard i don't see that going well for anyone now as for apple pencil support we also don't know if it's going to be getting apple pencil 2 or apple pencil 1 but again to keep price down i'm going to say apple pencil 1 but if apple wants they can do too i don't think anyone has a problem with writing on their ios device with a very tiny 8 inch screen okay moving on this is something that might get you annoyed while i'm not a fan of small tablets i will be annoyed if apple does do this to the ipad mini 5. the ipad mini 5 is rumored to have a cheaper display panel now we've seen what they did with the iphone 10r imagine what they'll do with the ipad mini 5. the ipad mini 4 has a retina display which is really good it's laminated which means the glass the digitizer and the actual lcd are actually fused together eliminating the three layer gap we might see that gap again with the ipad mini 5. we got rid of it with the ipad mini 4 when it was released back in 2015 and it looks like we're going to be seeing that gap again so to put things into perspective, the iPad mini 1, 2, and 3 did not have laminated displays. The iPad mini 4 had a laminated display. The iPad mini 5 is not going to have a laminated display. I hope that Apple keeps this as a laminated display because that would annoy a lot of people who want a smaller tablet without sacrificing a lot of features. Let's talk about processor chips. The iPad mini 5 does not have a certain chip that it's rumored to be getting in March or at WWDC, but a lot of YouTubers and a lot of journalists has been saying that it might get the new A9 to keep prices down, which is the same processor inside of the iPhone SE, iPhone 6S, iPad 5th generation, and iPad Pro 9.7 inch. My guess is that the iPad mini 5 will have an A9 chip to keep prices low. We'll be very lucky if they give it the A10. The final thing I'd like to talk about is price. The iPad mini 5 with its low quality display will be a lot cheaper than the iPad mini 4. The iPad mini 4 starts at $400. The 9.7 inch budget iPad starts at $330. The iPad mini 5 is rumored to be even cheaper than that. But with the smart connector and the Apple Pencil, I don't see it being any cheaper than the iPad mini 4. I think that they should keep it the same price or at least lower it to about $350. That would make more sense to me. Let me know your guys' opinion down in the comment section below. Alright guys, that's all I have for you guys today. If you guys enjoyed the video, let me know with a like or a dislike. If you guys enjoy the content that you see, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on my next video. My question for today is, what features do you guys want to see in the iPad mini 5 and are you going to buy one when it comes out? I personally am not going to buy one because I like huge tablets. 
But I know there are people out there that prefer a smaller device. Alright guys, I've been Tian Official. I'll see you guys in my next video.